It's five o'clock on a Wednesday and it's time for... A Craig and Rylan Magic Review Show. I'm Craig. I'm Rylan. Welcome back to another review show right here on... Magic TV. Absolutely. Four products to look at this week. Four brand new products. Very exciting because I think pretty much everything is good. Debatable, but pretty much. Yeah. Uh, and we're going to start with one of the best packet tricks that I've seen in a long time. Yeah. Um, it's, it's I love... It's really good. It's really good. You don't even like packet tricks. I know, but this one's really good. It's, it's a great packet trick, isn't it? I don't it? know your, your packet tricks. I, don't start. Let's have a look oh, at the... what? Let's start with the first trick right now. So first up, we have Tumbleweed by Brent Braun and, mm -hmm. and Andy Glass. And Tumbleweed is basically a uh, Twisting the Aces type routine with four jokers. Now, I, I, I'll be honest, when I saw the demo to this, it kind of fooled me. I didn't really know how it worked. It looked so clean. It wasn't like any sort of twisting the aces I'd seen before. Cards were just turning over when you turned the packet over. I practiced it. I showed Ryland and he immediately told me how it worked, which was very annoying. Mm. Um, but this is really fun. I've actually done this in a couple of it's gigs really now. Good. I've done this in a gig. I did this. Uh, really? Yeah, I did this a couple of days ago when I did that last gig. Really? And oh. it got really great reactions did now it? yes it did now i'm going to uh, well. it went really well i'm going to perform it I'm gonna did perform you film it, it. no mm. uh, it wasn't appropriate it was you saw the footage how loud it was at that gig couldn't even hear myself speak yeah. the end of the <laughs> it was very noisy i'm going to do a performance to ryland have a look at this this is called tumbleweed by brent braun and andy glass, andy glass. Right, I'm going to show you something with four cards. And I'm actually going to teach you a move that magicians use and gamblers use. Really? A secret card move. What is it? Well, I'm going to show you. Have a look at this. Okay. I've got four cards and they're, uh, they're all jokers. Can you see that? Yeah. And they've all got um, red backs, right? Yeah. Now, the secret move is used to turn a card over. Okay. Okay, watch this. It's called the turn. <whistles> Did you see it happen? Yeah. Look, I turned one over. <gasps> no! Did you miss it? Yeah. I'll do it again. Look, the one that's turned over, I'll put there. I want you to see one turned over, yeah? Mm -hmm. Watch the move. Did you see it? Mm. That's two. What? Now, now, you know, if you're if you're not a magician, you'd turn a card over like that. And when you do the turn, you could do it in either hand, but if you do it at the same time, that's three. What? I know, right? Uh last one, hardest one. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Watch, you know what's gonna happen. You do the turn, yeah? Mm -hmm. And that's one, two, three. Four. What? Now, when you re you get really good at this, it doesn't look like you do anything. Look, did you see it? No. Mm. Oh, turn it back over. What? I'll do it again. How many? Uh, how many? Over how many turned over? One. No, two. One. How many turned over? If I turn them all over like this, and I do the turn, now we've got uh, three. What? And the last one, you just do that. You do that. You do that, and that's all. Didn't do anything. Four. I know, right? That is a secret card move that one day. When you're a really good magician, you can learn. Wow. Now that, there's some amazing visuals there. Yeah. I just love this. You got it in your pocket. I got it, I, I'm going to carry this thing around with me everywhere. I just love, yeah, like, look, I just love that you, you've got the four cards. You show them. You show that they're, uh, you know, that, that, that they're all face down. And boom, you do the move and it turns over. Like, and then you turn that one over. You put it in there and... Boom, it turns out it looks so it fair. It really, and then you've got this weird moment where it's like, Look, 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 watch, watch, watch. And they're seeing everything the whole time. Ooh. And yet, the co am I boring you, Ryland? No, no, what? <laughs> um, what? yeah, it's, it's crazy. I really like this. I like the fact that it's just four cards. Um, I like the fact that it's jokers, which means that, um, you have a reason to not carry them in the deck. I don't think they're so, but at the end of this performance, I went, what? Yeah, I know. Um, it's just a really great trick. Now, ha let's talk about um, the tutorial. The tutorial is very basic. It does what it needs to do. It explains the moves in great detail. I say the moves. There's only really one move. And the only move, the move that you need here is the Elmsley Count. You do the Elmsley Count twice. That's it. As long as you can do the Elmsley Count, you can do, you can do the trick. Um, and, and you just got to flip some cards over, but that's not really a slide. Um, the whole thing is so well constructed. Uh, it's very well constructed and it is very, very fooling. It really is. I think it's stronger than a I mean, normal it didn't fool me, but it's very fooling. Yeah, well, you're, you're AGT superstar Ryan Petty, but, yeah. but, but you know, know. It, would, it would fool most people. <laughs> yeah, it it fooled me, poor, humble really? me. Yeah, fooled me. I told you. I didn't really? Know. Yeah. 
Dimple. I watched the demo, I had no idea how it worked. Really? And I've released a project with the cards, the gaff that's needed to do this. I've actually released a project on this gaff and it still fooled me. <laughs> I think I'm I think I'm getting old, right? I think that's what it is. Um now there is one thing that I'd like to say about this. It's not difficult, but there's a lot of stuff to remember. Mm -hmm. It's like, right, okay, first of all, you do this count, and then you've got to do this, then you've got to turn this over, then you've got to do this displacement, then you've got to do this, then you've got to do this displacement. It, none of it's difficult, but it's an awful lot to remember. Now, I'm quite good at remembering stuff, especially when it comes to tricks. Yeah, but it, that's true. It took me a that's long true. while to kind of get this in my memory. I'd go halfway through, and I'd forget one phase and if you don't do that one little move the whole thing doesn't work so bear That's in mind true. this is going to need a little bit of practice not in terms of the difficulty level but just in terms of getting the structure down there's a lot to remember in order to be able to do it but once you've got it down no table required no angle issues um instant reset ready to go anytime now you get four cards one of them is gaff so it's not examinable, but if you wanted to, you could very easily uh, construct a way of making it examinable. So you could take the cards out of a Himba wallet and switch them for four jokers, but you're only really needing to switch one card out. So if you wanted to, you once could you... Out and add a joker. Yeah, or you could actually build that into the routine. So once you're left, uh, you're left in this situation. So you're left here at the end where you've got uh, four jokers... Well, that have all got backs. Like yeah, you, you're left in that situation. So you could, for example, say, well, let me see if I can go one step further. I'll see if I can make one of these jokers disappear. And you snap your finger. No. And you say, no, I haven't done it yet. If I snap my fingers, has it happened? Yeah, look, one of the jokers has come. No, it still hasn't happened. Let me see if I can do this. should have thought this through, shouldn't I? If I snap my fingers, look, one of the jokers has vanished and it's in my pocket and then you take out a regular joker because there's only one card that's gaffed uh, or you could just ha you know what's nice is you can hand the cards out at the beginning you can say look i've got uh, so if we go back to the beginning of the routine you say look i've got four jokers you could do like an interrupted elmsley and say look i've got four jokers that's one two three four have a look at them check it. Is that an, interrupted an interrupted elmsley is kind of like when you uh, you do the el the first two parts of the elmsley counts and then you have these two, and you kind of break it up in between. It's like an interrupted arm. Oh, so it's interrupted. Yeah, so it looks like you're seeing... It's like, uh, I look, I've got one, two, three, four jokers. Look, have a look at them. You can see the jokers. They're, they've got, uh, now, they've got colour on them. They've got colour on them, you see. Now, I think the, all of them? Yeah, all of them. Look, uh, on the first one, on the second one, on the third one, and on the fourth one, they've all got colour on The point is, I think that you could very easily... Um, construct a way of having it feel like they don't even need to be examined. The point is, this is a great trick. Yeah. I love this packet trick. I'm a huge fan of packet tricks. I, um, I am, as long as it's not his. As long as it's not mine. As long as it's not long and boring. He likes it. You actually like packet tricks more than normal card tricks, I think. Yeah. I would say. So I'm going to give this 99%. Yeah. Uh, I think this is exceptional. This has gone straight into my set. I'm also... Oh, no, I do like the Lego deck. I'm going to have one of these and put it into... Well, I know you do. You do it on an AGT. And Q52. You like Q52. But none of those are card tricks. They're just tricks. They use with a, cards. But not playing cards. And the hero. And future releases. Let's not say anything about those, shall we? Let's not talk about tricks that we're not allowed to talk about because they haven't even come out and isn't scheduled to come out until the end of 2024, shall we? I know you've got a deck and you're playing around with it. It doesn't mean we can talk about it. Um, I'm giving this 99%. I think this is great. I've got a set that I've put in my wallet. This makes a great EDC. I've also got a set that I carry around with me to gigs. This is 98, 99%. What are you giving it? 99% from Ryland as well. Yep. It's got to be good for a card trick to go in his repertoire. 99% from me, 99% from Ryland. I expect to see this on Instagram within the week. Uh, let's move on. Right, next up, um, we're looking at a new routine by TCC. Something that Ryland has decided is one of his favourite tricks of all time. It is Time Cube by TCC. Oh, that's awesome! Now, we did Kickstarter. Uh, TCC did a Kickstarter for this earlier on. And then it's now available directly on their website. I think it is only available directly from TCC. Uh, we got this and it's so good. We've got a second one on the way. Really? Well, just because I don't know how much around, longer it's going to be around. And I know you want to make it a big part of your act. So oh, I've yeah, got to spare. Yeah, and you can lose it. Yeah, exactly. You know me. 
I do know you. I know you only too well when it comes to your props mm. and losing them. Mm. You know, we tend to lose something mm. from your show every yeah, single so time. Yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. Every performance, you lose the cube gimmick for cube in bottle. Yeah, I kind of do, to be honest. Um, <laughs> let's have a look. Did I leave the oh, I left it in the paper bag. So Ryland's been rehearsing this because he plans on actually putting it into his act. Do you? Oh, yeah, I do. Yeah. <laughs> uh, in fact, I'll tell you something right now. By the time this comes out, this is coming out next Wednesday, you'll have already done this, but Ryland's planning on auditioning for the uh, stage competition at the Young Magic Circle. Yay! And he's decided he's putting this into the act as an opener. Mm. This is how much he likes it. He's putting this in it's as... It's the opener of an eight to ten minute act. Absolutely. So let's have a look at a performance of this. And I, I love coin tricks, but the thing is with coins, they're so small that you can hardly see them on a big stage. So, what I thought I'd do is I thought I'd do a classic coin trick, but with one of my favourite toys. One of my favourite toys that I love collecting, and I love collecting Rubik's Cubes. Now, here I have three of my favourite Rubik's Cubes. I've got the 4x4, the 3x3, and the Mirror Cube. So, first of all, I take the 4x4 out, like this. Then I'll take the... Uh... Now, the 4x4 is quite a hard one. Um, the 3x3... When you know how to do it, it's quite an easy one. And then the mirror cube is kind of impossible um, when you mix it up. So I'm going to put all of them there. Now, as well as the cubes, I also have this brown paper bag. Now I'm going to put the cubes inside the bag. So first of all, I'll put the 4x4 four four in. Number one, it goes inside the bag. Then I'll put the 3x3 three three in. Number two. Then I'll put the mirror cube in. Number three. Now that's all three cubes. Now watch carefully. I'm going to take one of the three cubes out. I'm going to take three by three and I'm going to put it over here. Now, there should be two cubes left, but if I snap my fingers, you see we still have the four by four. We still have the mirror cube, but the three by three is now back. Look, you're not meant to repeat the trick, but I'll do it again. I'll take the mirror cube. I'll put it in the bag. I'll take the 4x4. Four four, I'll put it in the bag. And then the 3x3. Three three. I'll put this in the bag. Now watch carefully as I take this mirror cube out. And I'm going to put it over here. Now if I snap my fingers, there should only be two. But we still have the 3x3. Three three. We still have the 4x4. Four four, but now... The mirror cube is back. We'll do it one last time. You see, we've done the 3x3 three three and we've done the mirror cube. Now we'll do the 4x4. Four four. The mirror cube goes in as number one. The 3x3 three three goes in as number two. And the 4x4 four four goes in as number three. Now watch carefully as I take the 4x4 four four out. That's three, take away one. Now, there should be three. Well, there should be two, but if I snap my fingers, you see we still... Um, there's nothing in the bag. I think I might snap too loudly. Um, uh, there's nothing in there. Um, wait, this box has been there the whole time. I took the cubes out of this at the very beginning. If I actually have a look at this... Yes, it worked. The three cubes are back in. You see, we have the 4x4, four four, the 3x3, three three, and the mirror cube. Thank you. So, that is the performance. I love that presentation. I love it. I love the I way love that it. you scripted it, like, with the whole coin magic it's thing. It's kind of like the trick was invented for me. Yeah, the trick was invented for you. <laughs> it is. You know what I it like about stupid, it? It's stupid, but it sounds true. You know what I love about it? I love the fact that... I love that it's amazing. It is amazing. But let me tell you why I specifically love it. It's very different I just to any. It anyway. I know you do. It's very different to any cube tricks that I've seen before. Because normally when it's you're doing a cube magic, trick with a cube trick, it really is. Like how how do they mix? It's like hopping halves with coins with key, with cubes. Sorry. Yeah, he's he's he's. Now, when you saw Ryland do that, obviously he didn't have a a case here with him, so he was taking the. Um, I had a case and I'll put the cubes in the case. Yeah, you put, you're going to put the cubes in the case, but obviously here he was just putting them off to one side. Um, Imagine if the trick worked with a tunnel that goes through the silver stand and under the stage and then up into the... That would be something <laughs> special, wouldn't it? So let me ask you some questions. This is a stage trick. This is not something that you can do close-up, walk-around, mix-and-mingle table magic. 
This mm. is a stage trick. Mm. You can go up to a table and say, excuse me, can I put my case over there that I'm going to put my cubes into? Mm. This is something that you need to do on I mean, stage. You like throw the cubes across the room. Oh yeah, the really expensive gimmick yeah, the, cubes the, that come the, in there. The, yeah, the thing. No, I don't think that's a good idea. Um, oh, yeah, imagine throwing a mirror cube across, <laughs> across the room. And, and mirror cube, out of here! You know what's really nice about this as well, and you're not planning on doing this, but I, I really like the fact that at the end of the routine, when the three cubes have gone back into the box, whoa, 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 the three whoa, by is three is a real three by three. Mm -hmm. So if you want mm -hmm. to, when you when the cubes have gone back into the box, you can actually take the three by three out. Oh, look at this. Don't expose How anything. How are you supposed to fit two cubes? Look, I'll just grab two mirror cubes here. Okay. I'm gonna need two mirror cubes. Yep. Yeah, grab two mirror cubes. But it just doesn't make any sense, does it? it just... How do they appear back in the box when two can't fit in? It's, it's amazing. The, like, and the whole thing, the box is gimmicked, uh, the cubes are gimmicked. Yeah, the, the box is gimmicked in a way we can't tell. No, we can't say anything about this, but I very much like this routine. I, I think... love a mirror cube and I really want to mix it up, but no, I can't. Cause when if you, you mix, mirror, mix if it up, you, mix, you can't you do the trick. If you mix a mirror cube, it's not like you're ever going to solve it again, is it? Well, you oh know what you could do. You know thought... what you could do? You could take it to YMC and get Joseph to solve it because he is way better at cubes oh. than you. Like, way better. Yeah. Like, like, this is you with Rubik's Cubes. This is Joseph. This is Joseph. He could, you could probably give him a mixed up Rubik's Cube and he could solve it in like three seconds whilst tap dancing the Fantango on, um, you know, uh, and, and, and jumping up and down and doing star jumps. All that, and he can still solve a mirror cube in three seconds. Well, you can't do a star jump on solving a cube unless you do it with one hand. And you can't solve a three by three in one hand in less than three seconds. I bet Joseph can. Have you ever asked him? <laughs> but this is, look, look, bottom line, this is a really fun routine to do. I love it. I make, I think it makes a great opener. I think yeah, it would he, be... He, he said, he said, if you ever mix this up, there's consequences. There's consequences, yes, I will kill you. Um, <laughs> that's the consequences. You'll be a dead kid magician. Um, More than a dead kid magician. Especially with how much this costs. Um, <laughs> it's not cheap. But it does scream quality. You know, I love this. Daddy, I think this is. Start mixing this up. Please don't. No, no. Don't even joke. Don't even joke. Okay. Can I mix that. Whoa! Look at that. Don't start. <laughs> it makes a great opener. No, seriously. Come on. We're supposed to be reviewing this. Come on. We focus. Are, I'm reviewing the mirror cubes that came with it. Okay. So the mirror cubes are very nice. <laughs> um, it works great for kids. It works great for stage. It works great if you're performing in front of an audience. Power, yeah. it's awesome. Um, but it's not something that you want to do close awesome. up. If you do a lot of cube tricks in your show, especially, this is a great thing to do because mm -hmm. it breaks up the solves and the matches and I stuff. I thought you were going to say it breaks up the mirror cube. Then I'm like, no, it no. breaks up the mirror cube. I, I just really like it. I think it's great. I think the quality of everything is great. And also, you can take the 3 by 3 out afterwards. The one that it came with isn't a good quality Rubik's Cube, but if you switch it out for a nice speed cube or something, at the very end, you can just take out and do some solves with it. Yeah, you can. You can go into Venom Cube. You could. You could go into Venom Cube. You could put the ungimmicked cube in there mm -hmm. and the other one in your case. You say, oh, just grab that cube from earlier. Yeah. And then just say, I quickly mix up the cube from earlier. There we go. And I'll bring that one out. Yeah, you could. You I could, could create a cube act. I put infinity cube in there and that other tall cube, you know, you know the one that's like flat Well, you've got cube ball as well that you could throw in there and cube, cube buster and a million cube other things. Cube buster and, and so, blindfold cube so I could make an hour's cube act, you know. Yeah. It's, it sounds so stupid. I feel sorry for your audience. Um, I'm going to give this... <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> I can't think of anything worse than sitting there for an hour watching Rylan do cube tricks. <laughs> oh, <Jesus Christ. laughs> Maybe, maybe people who have been really naughty in the world, you think you can get punished, like really evil people. Your punishment is to watch Ryland do an hour act with Rubik's Cube. Shut up. <laughs> That'll soon put them on the straight. No! Send me to prison. Anything but that. Don't make me watch Ryland do cube tricks. No! Shut up. I'm giving this 100%. What are you giving it? Can I give it? Nine. Nine percent. One hundred percent from Ryland, one hundred percent from me. If you want a really cool routine for your kids' show or your stage show or your family show, no, Daddy, your parlor show. It is nine. 
Okay. Million. Nine million percent. Yeah. It is. It is great. Uh, I'm definitely uh, love this. I think I can see this going into my act as well. Uh, it's really good. You can get it from TCC. We're going to move on with the next trick. So next up, we have a trick that's been brought out directly through Murphy's Magic called Right Through uh, by Bizarro. Because it goes right through. By Bizarro, thing. who I've interviewed on Magic TV. Danny really? Weiser, who I've interviewed mm -hmm. on Magic TV. No? And so it's... interviewed both of the creators. It's the pen through bill. Mm -hmm. Obviously, we've seen lots of pen through bills. But it can write through the bill. So it's in the bill and it writes. But you can click it and write it. You can. Um, I, I, I have thoughts on this, but you did this on Instagram. It's awesome. You did this on Instagram recently, didn't you? Yeah. Um, so let's play the Instagram footage of Ryland doing it, just so you can see exactly what it looks like. I didn't actually write it, but you can write it while it's in the bill. Well, we'll talk about that in a second. Let's just have a quick look at the performance. So this is Ryland doing Right Through by Danny Weiser and Bizarro. <laughs> I have thoughts on this, but first of all, let me just say, what so kind of I'll tell you, but first of all, uh, let me just say, so the big thing with this is the tutorial is about an hour long. It's a really good tutorial. It's Danny and Bizarro talking through everything that happens. Occasionally you have uh, Javier pop in and say a couple of words as well. It comes with a gimmicked pen, which you saw Ryland use in the video. It comes with a regular matching pen. And the other things it comes with is a second gimmick. Now, the purpose for the second gimmick is so that you can borrow a bill. Where's the second gimmick? Yeah, you can borrow... Is that a gimmick? Yeah. It looks like it's part of the actual top pen. No, it's not. Yeah, so you, yeah. can borrow, uh, uh, you can borrow um, uh, a bill. You can take the pen, show it as a normal pen, and without doing any normal move that you would normally do with bend or anything, you can go boom, straight through, click, 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 show that it still works, write with it if you want to, pull it out, put the pen away, job done. Um, on the project, Danny and Bizarro go through a whole bunch of bonus handlings, extra handlings. They talk about pen switches, how to switch the pen out, how to not switch the pen out. They talk about how to do pen through shirt, pen through t-shirt. Uh, they go through a bunch of different objects you can put the pen through. Uh, it's a very expansive tutorial, mm -hmm. but the key thing that you're getting with this is that it's a pen through anything. Yeah where the big bonus to this is once the pen has gone through the bill, you can click the top mm -hmm. and show that the the nib is still working. What's bad about that? It's pointless. Let me explain why it's pointless. We're going to have a sensible, serious conversation between two, well, not two adults, between an adult <laughs> and uh, two magicians. <laughs> We're going we're gonna to have a conversation between two professional magicians. You're, you're not going to get silly because I know you love this. I know you've turned around to me and said this is the best thing since uh, no, ever. No, I didn't say that. I said, you I love said it. it. You do. Really re you re the you also one said. One of the best pen through bills. You said you're going to do it in your close up. Yeah. Because you have a pen through bill that you do in your close up. Uh, you're going to do this instead. You said this is the one I'm going to do. Let me ask you a question, young, uh, young Ryland Arthur Petty. <laughs> what does this actually add to a normal pen through bill because let me no 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 let me just say one thing and then you say your piece because when you do th pen through bill and i know you've done it close up lots of times you use the uh the, the sherpa version don't you the sharpie version where you've got a sharpie and a sherpa pen mm -hmm. and you put that you mm -hmm. put the sharpie through the same sharpie that you used to write with yeah? yeah question when doing that pen through bill in all the many performances that you've done it in all the hundreds of performances that you've used that pen through bill in close up, how many times has a spectator turned around to you and said, well, Ryland, that would have been very good if you could click the button and have the pen nib come out of the other side. If that would have happened, then it would have been a good trick. As it is, it's pants. Mm -hmm. That never happens. No, seriously. Mm -hmm. Let me explain, because here's the thing. If people believe that you can put a pen through a bill and then pull it out and there's no hole, Obviously, they're going to think it's a, a a real pen because they believed it's gone through. The, the, no, they're the, going to think it's a magic pen. No, they're not. 
Why are they going to think? Nobody's ever no, said to you it's like a magic it's a, pen, no, especially with a Sharpie no, marker. Not that it's a gimmick pen, as in like it's magic, because it's like you're doing a magic trick. Yeah. Not, so, a, not that it's a gimmick pen. I'm just exactly. Saying like so they think they magic. think you're doing real magic. They think that you're doing magic and you're penetrating. Mm -hmm. So how does clicking the nib help? What does that achieve? Because it looks cooler. So as a magician, you like it. Yeah, so what would happen if you click it? Yeah, this will be funny. So if you click it for, like, so if you, if so, you did a show for someone, yeah, mm -hmm. and you did it, and you did a close-up, and you clicked it, yeah, and then, and then they do another magician, yeah, mm -hmm. and, and they do the thing, and it doesn't click, and they say, why is it, why is it not clicking? You know why? Because nobody would say that. Nobody <laughs> would say that. Nobody would say that because there's not a single spectator anywhere in the world that's going, you should have clicked the pen. If when the pen had been put through the bill, you'd been able to click the nib, I would have been convinced. But as it happens, you didn't, so your pants. Nobody has yeah, ever said but... that, ever. Yeah. You're, you're thinking like a magician. You, no, this. no, right. You know pen through bill. You, when you first saw this, I showed it you. I showed it you and I was like, watch this, I'm going to do pen through bill. And you were like, yeah, I've seen that before. What's that, dad? And then I clicked that nib and you were like, that's cool. Because you know that the normal way of doing pen through bill, you can't do that. And when I showed you how it worked, you were like, oh, that's really cool. Oh, that's awesome. And when I showed you the thing, you then spent the next half an hour boshing pens through bills because you thought it was cool. But to a lay person, there's no difference between this and my favourite pen through bill, which is Perfect Pen that we reviewed on this show about a year and a half ago. And the reason that's a better pen through bill is because as soon as you've done the pen through bill, you take the lid, you, t you put it on the end of the pen and you hand the pen out. There's no switch. Once you've done this, as soon as you've pulled it out, that pen is gimmicked. If somebody wants to look at it, you can't. You've got to do a pen switch first. With perfect pen, there's no pen switch. Now, I think that is a bigger advancement in pen through bill methodology than being able to click the bloody ink thing cartridge when it's gone through a bill. Nobody cares. If you said to a million magicians you could do pen through bill and you can have it examinable without a switch at the end of the routine, or you can do pen through bill. It's not examinable at the end of the routine, but you can click the pen nib and have the the thing go through. Nobody cares a crap. Nobody cares. It's just a cool gimmick that you like well, because daddy, you're a magician. Daddy, daddy, listen to this. So someone brings out pen through bill, and then another one brings us pen through bill, but they're both pen through bills. So you can get both and you and you, and you like. First of all, what gig are you at where there's like two magicians walking around and they've got enough time to go up to the same group and they're both doing bloody pen through anything? <laughs> First of all, that scenario, Ryland, will never happen in the entire history no, of performing. No, 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 no. As in, I'm saying you perform, you're the only person there. Yeah. So hang on, I'm now going up to somebody <laughs> and I'm doing pen through Bill and they're like, oh, that's really good, Mr. No, Magician. No, no. Can you do it again? I'm like, yeah, let me get a different pen. And now look at this. Hey, the ink comes out. Oh, oh, oh. Thank you, Danny. Thank you, Bizarro. No, Daddy, so I'm saying. So what happens is the first person, they come to the gig and they do it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then they do that trick where you click it. Mm -hmm. And then they go away to a different gig because the gig's ended. Right. And then they book someone else on a different day. Okay, yeah. And then they go up to the same group and they click the when they don't click the pen. They don't click the pen. So they've seen somebody click the pen and then they've watched another magician like three months later at a different gig and that magician's not clicking no, the three bit. Three months later, like, a, like three a, hours later? No, it's a different day. So three, basically, da three days later. Basically it's one of those Fun fairs when they do it like every day. So the next day they see another magician yeah, who and goes and does do pen it. through bill and he doesn't click the pen. I don't yeah. think they care because I don't think any lay person will see that trick and the thing they'll remember is the fact that they clicked the ink. I think what they'll remember <laughs> is they'll remember the bloody pen going through the bloody <laughs> bill which you then bloody well gave back to them and they couldn't give two hoops <laughs> about whether the pen thing was clicked. I don't think any lay person would go and go... Well, Craig, I thought that was a really good trick. The guy showed it to me yesterday. He did it slightly better because when it went through the bill, he clipped his nib. Said no lay person ever. This 
said. Look, this is a nicely made pen through anything. It's probably one of the nicest made pen through anythings that I've ever seen. If you want a good pen through anything, get this. Yeah, if exactly. You, he says it. If good. you think that clicking the nib when it goes through the bill is important, like certain people do, by all means, <laughs> put it into your act. However, for me, and I've been doing pen through bill for years, don't start. Don't hit me with a uh, with that just because you've lost the argument. For me, <laughs> sit there. Okay. For me, personally, I would prefer John Cornelius's pen through anything because that I can switch it. I've told you why. What are you giving it? I'm giving this sixty percent. Sit no fifty five percent. Give it Every a... second that you don't give it a rating, it's losing a percentage. And then you can explain that to Danny and Bizarro when you see them. 54%. Yeah. 53. 52. 95. 51. 55. 95. Yeah. 51% from me. 95% from Ryland. I'm he... telling Danny that you are dropping it every second. I think he'll have watched this. I love you, Danny. I love you, Bizarro. I think you two of the... It doesn't. He just dropped his percentage like every second. I did. I love. This is me. I love you guys. I think that uh, you don't. You're both awesome. However, that's not what you just said. I think this is a pointless trick. I think that See, it's a well. See, he didn't say it. I think it's a well-made gimmick, but I think it's a pointless trick. Don't start. <laughs> I'm going to carry on using pen through anything. The perfect pen. He can use your trick. He loves it. That's cool. Uh, he knows more than me. He's been on America's Got Talent. I haven't. What do I know? I'm giving it 51%. You're the one that taught me, so pretty much everything. Let's move on. Okay, so the final trick that we've got coming, uh, we've got we've got to talk about is a new trick from Vanishing Ink. Yep. And uh, I, I remember the first time I saw this, Harry Nardi do, was doing it on Instagram. Yeah. And he had this really cool bit where he was back uh, in the back at, at Har uh, Alakazam. And he was holding like five packs of cards. Really? And Jenny was like, Harry, can you bring me some cards? And he was like coming over and he was like, yeah, I've got some here, mum. And she was like, no, I only want one pack. And he's like, boom, there you go, one pack. And she was like, what? So like, I, I, and I saw it, I was like, oh, that's awesome. And then I, I was- you at, really? Yeah, and I was at Magic Live and I saw the creator of this do it. And watching it done live was such an awesome experience because watching him do it, he was doing it again and again and again. And it was again, killer, again, again. was absolutely killer. So did they not flash? He didn't flash at all. It's his trick. I'm sure he wouldn't have flashed. Oh, yeah. Sure. Um, it was really great. And you've looked at it. You've actually filmed it for Instagram. So let's have a look at this video of Ryland doing it on Instagram. We'll have a look at that performance. And then we'll talk about what we think. I think this, and I'll tell you why, because I'm telling you why I like it, because he doesn't like it. I'll, even though he's the one that put it on Instagram, I'll tell you why I like it. I like it because I think that... I you, think it's overall. I think this would make a great opener. Because if you walk over to a table, the, 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 when Ryland did it, he had all red packs of cards, but you can actually change the gimmicks very, very easily. So you can have different colored decks. So you could have a blue deck, a red deck, a yellow deck, a green deck, a, you know. A what, you, what, what? You know, you can have different colored decks on the gimmick, yeah. So you, you could, have yellow, I mean, you so can you get can, yellow and green cards, but you mm. get, you can change it to yellow and green. Yeah, yeah, you get the stickers to change it. So you can walk over to uh, a table. No, it's only five. Mm. So you can walk over to the table and you can say, hey guys, my name's Craig, I'm the magician. I've got a few packs of cards here. I want to do a card trick. Is there a particular colour you like? I tell you what, let's use my favourite colour. Red. Boom. By the way, sir, can you take these cards out of the box and shuffle them? And oh, you, you, you so see all the... you have all the different colours. Yeah. So I would probably get a... Well, you, you're stuck I with what's in the get... package with the stickers. I would get... You're stuck I with would... what's in the stickers. Shush. I would get... Stop with what's in the stickers. I would... <laughs> I would get an uh, aqua deck. I would get an aqua deck of cards. Yeah. I'll get an aqua deck of cards. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because I've got one already. And I'll get an aqua deck of cards. And I'll stick out each deck a different colour. Yeah. Like each deck on the thing. And I said, well, I've got all these different ones. My favourite is the, is the aqua. 
the sea. So this is the aqua and it's one of my favourites. Mm -hmm. So I like it to end in Is that what you do? Yeah. It doesn't matter what you do. <laughs> Been wanting to do that for two and a half years. <laughs> um, yeah, look, look. I think it's a great opener. Walking over to the table, five packs of cards. <laughs> oh, let's use the red. <laughs> let's not get silly, come on. Okay, okay. Uh, five packs of cards, boom, doom, there you go. I'd use that one, the red pack, and then you can hand it out. That's the beautiful thing about it. The deck can be handed hey. out. As soon as you've done the move and you've vanished the four My decks of cards, aqua. boom, the deck can be examined at that point. Like you saw on Instagram, you immediately showed the deck, and, you know, that's what I love about it. Uh, there are angle issues. You have to be aware there of the angles. Angle issues. Now, they go through on the tutorial with a fine-tooth comb how to do these angles. Do. So, so yeah, so there's... Yeah, you saw the tutorial. Things are flooding back. Yeah. So, I... You know, I, I really like it. It's not for everybody. I totally get that. And I understand why you don't like it, and that's fine. I think this is a really smart release. I think this to be is... Honest, I might actually do this. Because of yeah. what I've just said there. Now you said there's different colour stickers. I think you I watched the tutorial. He went through how to change the stickers on the tutorial. Were you listening or were you part? dreaming about Rubik's Cubes? <laughs> I didn't watch that part. Remember, I went to get a drink at that point. You know how some kids have a teddy bear? He cuddles up to a Rubik's Cube in bed. No! <laughs> Big cuddly Rubik's cube. Big cuddly Rubik's cube. No, it's lanky he just box cuddles. Pushies. He cuddles up to a Rubik's cube. No, it's the lanky box pushies. Um, I really like this. I think this is a really, really good I trick. I cuddle up to a hard Rubik's cube. Yes, you do. It's easy. If anything, I'll cuddle up to a dinosaur. A it's... Lego one. Let's not be too silly. It's easy to do. Put the Lego away. It's easy mm -hmm. to do. Um, you'll pick it up very, very quickly. The tutorial is very well shot. Uh, it's an almost instant reset. Um, it packs small, it plays big. It's a great opener. The angles are really good. We didn't like uh, Chaos Cube by Vanishing Inc. a couple of weeks ago, but I really do like this. I'm going to use it as an opener. Um, I think it looks great for social media as well, hence the reason you put it on Instagram. I'm going to give this 95%. What about you? Ninety. 90%. So you actually are going to use it. Yeah. No, no, no. Now you've actually told me. You didn't tell me. I said, remember you watched, what? We watched the tutorial together. I told you to pause it when I went to get a drink, and you obviously didn't pause it. No. I wanted to finish it. <laughs> Let's wrap this up. There's another reason in the bag. There's another reason in the bag. There's another reason in the bag. It's another review show in the back. Thank you once again for joining us right here on Magic TV. Don't forget you want to see more oh. videos. <laughs> Don't forget you want to see more videos like this. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment down below. If you want to follow Ryland on Instagram or YouTube or uh, uh, Facebook or anywhere else, uh, please do so. Just search Ryland the Kid Magician. He pops up. He posts videos on Facebook pop, pop, three pop. times a day. I'm going to pop up. Uh, Yes, you are. Uh, and don't forget, you want to join the Netflix and learn all of my magic, go to... www.thenetrix.cookies And if that doesn't work, go to dot .com. No, I'll it's cookies. But try dot .cookies, cookies. first. I'll dot see you again cookies. soon. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Craig. Um, oh, yeah, I'm Ryland. He's Ryland. He's going to bed now. Thanks very much for watching. We'll see you again soon. Take care. Bye, everyone. Bye-bye.